All right, let's get started with some hinge points. Now, the first one I got done, he's ready. Ready to roll. Got good points, checked him out, everything's good. This switch is not really usable with, say, like a tortoise. But it doesn't have to be. I hand throw these where they're going. I hand throw them. It's perfect for that. Um, a tortoise, probably, this is a no-go. Tortoise throws farther, and we would need to do something to make it throw farther. But that's okay. That's a hand throw, and that's that's good. Go. I've got some tortoise, and we're going to get to that. One of these days here is we're going to build some switches. We're going to use a tortoise. But the, okay, so I got the other guy on here. So he's on the paper. As you can see, he is on the paper. Now let's get let's get lined up and let's look at him. Okay, okay, he's on the paper. The first thing I got to do with this guy, I'm gonna line him up on the paper. I've got two ties right here. Okay, these two ties. They got to get tinned. So we're going to take our motor tool here. And we are going to, to clean these guys. And then we're going to tin them. Oops, that's one side. Flip them around. That's another side. Okay, why are we doing this? Makes for a, this got to be a strong hold. But we're going to come back to this exact thing in a little while because on this switch here, which is hand thrown, you click back and forth and he works. But we're going to make one that is smoother and the way we do that is going to be just like what we just did. So let's take some acid, let's take some acid paste and let's find a, a guy here and go ahead. Acid, mm -hmm. acid, all right, good enough. Okay, now let's take this guy and let's uh, let's put some solder to him. So we got a tinned tie, completely tinned. Okay, just like like that, all right? Completely tinned. Just got to be silver. Don't leave globs. Okay. Now let's take our Let's take our guy and go here. We're going to put him here. Let's go ahead and take our motor tool again. Let's polish off this part. Especially on the end here. I don't want flash. Because later I'm going to have to, he's going to have to get joined to other rails. So we don't flash here. All right. Chin him. Put some acid on there. Okay, good to go. Let's put some acid on there. All right, now let's chin him. Good to go. Okay, this is how we make it super strong. All right, so there he is. He's on there. Get him lined up a little bit, and uh, let's go ahead and take this big guy, just like that. Now, as you can see. Wobbles up and down. Okay, so we're gonna take some more acid. We're gonna put it on here. Okay, not doesn't matter how much. But I want ties on the end of this to hold this thing in gauge just like that. Okay, you see that? I want to hold them in gauge just like that. Let's go up and then let's look down so you can see what I'm doing here. I want to hold them in gauge. This is a critical point on switches that got to take a beating. If they got to take a beating, then you need these extra ties here. And if you're using fast tracks and use quick sticks and all that, um, this part here has wood ties on it. They will not take the beating that uh, is going to have to be taken by these guys based on where they're going. They have got to be ultra strong. So I get the solder up onto the rail also. And we go on the back side. Mm -hmm. Get it up on the rail. 
All right, then we're going to put in a second one. Now, he's got to be backed off just enough for a real joiner. And if I, I'm using the paper, so it should be pretty good, except we need some paste. Mm -hmm. Okay, put some acid on there. Get him in here. All right, he needs to be like right there. Right, let's take one of these guys and I go like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's take our screwdriver. Let's make sure that he is at least a little bit straight. You don't really have to be straight because this guy is just here for strength. If he's a little bit crooked, it's fine. He'll look realistic. Okay, that's one. Now let's try number two. Okay, let's go to the other side. We're gonna we make we're gonna lock this guy down hard. So we're gonna hit him on both sides. And so if you are doing code 83, this is not not so important. This code 83 is a wire that will be held in place by the few times you, you automatically put on. The code 100 is a stiff wire, which we're using. And it needs to be held in place. It just it just has to be. All right. So now, now we've got our strength in place. Okay. So the next thing up is I'm going to put the hinges on. In the next video, I'm going to put on hinges. For now, what we've done is we've made the ends of it strong. 